The University of Otago's School of Surveying students get the chance to learn a variety of subjects such as cadastral and engineering surveying, uh, ge geographic information systems, land planning and development, all while getting a chance to head out in the field with some of the latest technology. We're always encouraging our students to apply their knowledge and understanding to real world examples. One recent example is the world's steepest street, which was recently awarded to a street in Wales. And we're interested in the methods and measurements behind that award. Turns out that an explanation for why this happened can be found in geometry. Ford Penn Lec in Wales is a narrow curvy street that winds its way up a steep hill, while Bolden Street here in Dunedin goes straight up a steep hill, no curves. Been a lot of talk recently on, on roads and road gradients and how you measure the things. When I saw that world record uh, being broken for the steepest street in the world, you know, as, a, as a survey graduate and someone that measures roads and designs roads for a living, I just couldn't help but uh, get involved. Today we are measuring um, the road to see how steep the gradient is on the centre line of the road versus the um, curve on the inside of the road. Firstly, these guys are marking out where the centre line is going to go so that we can measure down the straight down the middle. And then we are going to use the robotic total station and a prism to measure points down the middle of the centre line and then down the inside. And then when we're back at survey school, we'll put them in to a computer program called 12D to see what the difference in gradient is between the centre line and the inside of the curve. So we came back to the survey school and we downloaded our measurements. This allowed us to make a 3D model and a 3D image from our measurements, which then allowed us to measure the grade of the centre line and the grade of the inside of the curve. From this, we found that the steepest grade of the centre line was 22%, whereas the steepest grade of the inside of the curve was 45%. This means that the geometry holds true, that the inside of the curve is steeper than the centre line. Here's a challenge to all you Welsh surveying students. Will, Will you, you level up? up?